Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. We are going to do another little tutorial in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. All right, we're ready to play. We have a fishing tournament going on right now. It's only going on until tomorrow. So I wanted to get this video out there before it was over. So let's just dig right into this and see how it works. It's kind of fun. I like the fishing tournament the most. And if you look at your journal, you can see what days the event is going on. I kind of like the journal that they added. It's cute. Oh, I got 20 leaf tickets. Yes. Plus three. No way. That's why it's fun to be a new player. Oh my gosh, this postal counter is really cute. I just got it on my phone. It's adorable. I'm not going to get it for this island, but it is cute. No, I don't want to automatically apply a layout. Just go away. Oh, we completed something. What did we do? We Oh, last time we did do something. All right, let's hold this unveiling party really quick because this is this will get us a little bit, you know, our level up with the friendship. And you want to level up. You can get, just a tidbit of information, you can get your villagers' photos once you hit 20. And 20 takes a long time to get, just an FYI. <laughs> don't let it, don't let it scare you off, but it does take a while. And you get gifts and essence oils, which is awesome. And all the good stuff that, all the materials that you need to, to actually craft stuff, they'll give you that as time goes by and as you become better friends. And as you give them things, you have to give them things for them to like you better. For lack of a better way to put that. All right, let's go. We should be doing the unveiling. Oh, we got some stretch goals. See, there's a lot to do in this game. I thought we were doing an unveiling. I guess not. <laughs> All right, let's talk to our only villager. Oh no. All right, I'll find that later. Oh, he was swimming around the river. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep talking to Jay. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go to the map. I'm not gonna do all my daily stuff today. I'm just gonna go right to where it says event open. Down there at the bottom, that's our fishing tournament. So let's go. All right, now we get to see the whole, how the whole, oh, I love the balloons. Is the balloon, the balloons are like such a nice little touch. I don't need to hear the rules, but I'm going to let you hear the rules, okay? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Go and catch a boatload of fish. All right, this is our total size. So as you can see, we've got a lot, <laughs> a lot to go. And if you're just watching this today, which is Saturday, then you only have one day to get this done. The prizes are really cool this time. Let me show you the challenges. Get these little challenges and you collect so many. You get this cute, what is this thing? I don't know what that is. I can't tell it's a little mail cart, I think. Get a little, there's a little mailbox. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna try that thing at the bottom there. I'm not even gonna try to tell you. So that's where you check and we want to look at the rewards list. They do have a lot of cute things. I like the labeled shipping box. That is like one of my favorite. It is so cute. Of course, we got the red mailbox and then the essences and the glistening raindrops. Oh, it's a parcel drop box. The mail delivery bike. I'll put it here at the top. That little bike is too cute for words. I actually got it. 
on my other island, or if, I don't know if we want to even call this an island. I should say campsite. Um, but it's really, really cute. So you might want to strive for that. I didn't even, I only got halfway through so far on my other, my other campsite. I got to call it a campsite, but I got only halfway through and I already got that bike. So it's not hard to get. You just have to stay at it. And what else do we have? Oh, it's a mobile mail cart and then a blue mailbox and the essences and the glistening raindrops. And it's a drop box. Okay. Now we know. What I really want is that post office building there at the top. That looks really cute. Not that it goes with my other campsite, but this one, I have nothing in it, so it would work. I wish I, I'm going to kind of hope to get that. And that's what you get if you collect everything. All right, we're going to go back and X out of here. And he does do mad selfies just like he does in... It New Horizon. Yes, you don't get your fish back, but it's fine because all you can do is sell them in this game or give them to other villagers. You can't really set them out or do anything with them. Alright, so we don't need to read all this, but you'll get this. If this is the first time you've ever played the tourney, you'll get this. So you can read down through it. Alright, first things first. I'm going to use my tourney net just because I want to. But you only get one. You might only get one of these per, per tournament. So use it wisely. I have three, but that might just be because I'm a new player with this. And you can buy a large, at the bottom there, you can buy a large tourney throw net for 20 leaf tickets. But unless you're desperate for all the items and you still have a couple that left that you need, I wouldn't bother spending your leaf tickets on those. Because they, they will accumulate over time, but it's so hard to collect them without buying them with real money. So I would, I don't recommend it. But we are going to use a 20 throw net. I have three for some reason. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but let's do it. All right, with the regular tourney net, you only get six fish. You always get this wood fish trophy. <laughs> they make sure that you're able to get that at the beginning. All right, so my first thing is the labeled shipping box, which I think is adorable. So it's really easy to actually start collecting items. So it, this is what I love about it. Sometimes you only get one item and then you get all of this kind of stuff, but that's fine too, because you need it for crafting. So it's no big deal. All right. Well, if you didn't have a fishing tourney or a, yeah, a tourney net, what you do is you just come over here and fish just like normal, but you look for the ones with the sparkles. Then you tap. And honestly, you can throw your, you can throw your lure in like five feet away from them and they'll still go for it. But I tap near the fish. Oops, missed one. Keep an eye out. <laughs> Try not to walk past them. There are quite a lot you can catch the first time of the day. <laughs> I've noticed that you get more fish the first time you play each day than you do in every... Like, it changes. It'll reopen, like, every hour and a half or something like that. But you get the most on the first try of the day. And then you'll get this message when you've got them all. That way you don't have to guess. Mm -hmm. 
Let me tell him you brought the fish for him. And sometimes you don't get items, but you still get stuff. So, yeah, that's basically the fishing tournament in a nutshell. Except when you see CJ up here on the top left there underneath the camera icon, when there's an exclamation point, click that. Because that means, and you can keep track of where you're at in your journey. Under total size and then challenges, we have... Completed an Opa collecting, so we're gonna claim that one. We're gonna get sparkle stones. You need those two for crafting. And then if you were if you had friends, you could you could check and see, you know, what the records are and who the top person is, but I don't have any friends on this one, so so there's nothing really to see. But that was it. I mean that's basically that's basically it. And one other thing I want to show you because I think think we have something going on right now I just clicked on Isabel this is a new challenge and I think this challenge we'd have to check our notebook but I think this challenge goes for another like week or so so it gives you options I think I should touch on this a little bit in my last video I'm, I don't remember I want to get the five leaf tickets so I'm going to uh, craft a piece of furniture or harvest 10 fruits I'm gonna harvest 10 fruits because that's easy and then basically you, you just go through these and you complete everything and then when you're done if you clear them all at the very bottom there you see that fortune cookie you you will get that and then you can eat that and get the prize that's inside of it all right that should be it I'm not gonna do any of this on camera I just wanted to show you the fishing tournament but I always get sidetracked sorry about that but anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Bye.